here in 2023. While Ninja Sanji is running their fifth iteration of the tournament, we're throwing our hat into the diamond. Over at the Power Pros World Discord, we're launching our own version of the Nijisanji Koshien called the Power Pros World Koshien. Creative, I know. And all of this is going to be documented on my MDOF Risk JP channel. Each school, their training, their progression, every game, maybe some fun interviews, some commentaries along the way. So be sure to subscribe and tune in. Like we said, we have 14 teams from various prefectures in Japan. They've created their very own high schools and Power Pros 2022. Our coaches will be given three years to create the best baseball program they can before before they face off in an exciting player versus player pool battles and then capping it off with a single animation bracket tournament crowning the PPWK champion. So let me give you a little sneak peek at who these 14 teams are. I want you to be able to figure out who you're going to root for and who you're going to hate. Oh, but first, I have to tell you the schedule. Starting now up until the first week of August, every coach will be entering the training arc. They'll be building their teams to prepare for pool play. Now, before we kick off pool play, we'll be holding a selection show to show which pool everyone is in. Review the teams, maybe make some early predictions. Then pool play will go for two weeks where each team will play four games against the others in their pool. Then comes bracket play, the single elimination tournament. Everyone will make bracket play, but the seeding for the tournament will go by record, head-to-head -head record, run differential, and if needed, home run to K differential. Then from there, we will try and crown a champion before the end of August. All right, let's get on to the teams. Our first team, hot off the presses, Bishop Sycamore, coached by Lancer. Not the football team, I guess the baseball team in Japan. Maybe fictional, purely fictional. When I asked Lancer what the backstory was for the school, he said, we all know what their backstory is. They made up a school for kids to get quote unquote recruited to make college rosters, and now they're into high school baseball. <laughs> well, good luck, have fun, bud. Bishop Sycamore is playing in the Shizuoka Prefecture. Let's hope they don't get blown out like the game against IMG. Our second team comes from the brilliant, the talented mind of Serena Red. I got a chance to sit down with Serena before joining the tournament, and here's what she had to say. Hello, my name is Serena, and I'm the assistant of the coaching staff, owners, and current Nippon League stars Camilla, Whitley, Evelyn. You might be wondering why these star athletes coach and run a top-notch coaching academy. Well, it all started when they competed in the Power Pros World Koshien while still in high school and lost. The memory of that loss lingers within them today. The trio came to the conclusion that they must triumph in a high school competition. But since they are unable to participate, they pooled their resources to form Black Maiden Academy, or BMA for short. Nestled within the picturesque landscape of the Owait Prefecture, home to BMA, one of the best baseball schools in the country. However, it'd be difficult to locate it because it is underground due to the land restrictions caused by the attempts to obtain the cheapest piece of property in the city of Marioka and having the area allocated to the baseball field. You shouldn't assume that they are attempting to save money because they have spent the majority of it on scouting. Fantastic baseball players for their school. But that's where I come in. Since these Nippon League stars still play over the summer, they teach the pupils how to play virtually for most of the school year. I'm here to make sure they can do that. A dedicated team of educators ensures that these student athletes maintain a balance between their athletic pursuits and academic responsibilities, empowering them to excel not only in the field, but also in the classroom. Black Maiden Academy stands as a testament to the unwavering determination of Camilla, Whitley, and Evelyn to overcome their past setback. Through their coaching, leadership, and tireless efforts, they have transformed BMA into a beacon of inspiration, empowering young athletes to pursue their dreams and reach their fullest potential. Now I've got to say, the all-girl school vibes are one of my favorite things in the game, and Serena's team performed well in the Power Pros Koshian tournament, and Black Maiden is such a great name. Can't wait to see or crush it underground in the away prefecture. Our third team comes from the one and only Compass. Recent finalists in the Triple P Power Pros Competitive League. This dude has some insane talent on the sticks, but when I asked him about his school, he hit me with the uh, Braza Sport in Okinawa, but I don't have a backstory. Well, guess what? You do now, Compass. I made one up for you. I asked ChatGPT to come up with one, and here is what it said. Once upon a time in Okinawa, a bunch of baseball crazy Japanese high schoolers performed the Braza Sport Exporters. Inspired by American baseball, they tried to bring their own export sport of skills, people thought they were nuts, but they trained like madmen. With their flashy style and funny mishaps, they became a local sensation. Their journey led them to a big tournament where they battled fiercely but fell short. Though they didn't win, they won the hearts, proving that even underdogs can make an impact. Short, sweet, and to the point. Congrats, Compass. 
we need to speed this thing up or else it's gonna be a 30 minute video. Ah, perfect. Coming at you with three schools that have no backstory, but have some incredible competitive talent. The fourth team is led by Matt, the Arizona State Stun Devils. To my surprise, he chose green for the uniforms. Like what? Well, regardless, he'll be training out of Aichi and crushing it, dude can swing it. The fifth team, MC Scales and the Kappa Academy in Kyoto. Scales just won like five awards in Triple P for most improved, best pitcher, best uniform, best rivalry. Oh, against Matt. I'm gonna have to do whatever I can to feel that rivalry, make sure they're in the same pool, prepare for collusion. Our sixth team comes from our Olympian, Kang Gang. I'm not kidding. Kang got to play in the Olympic eSports series where he placed fourth in the world in power pros. <laughs> Serious. There is no shot at any of us getting a win unless we train a God Squad team. So good thing for us, his 10 May team in a weight is just getting their footing in Akon 9. Eight more teams left. Next up, seventh team. We've got Big Sid and Saito High School. Stars of Diamond No Ace. One of the best baseball animes I've ever seen. They also did a collab with Power Pros in the past that, you know, amazing. I wish it would come back for this one though. Where is the DLC? Sid is going to hand in the keys to the boss we all love. And I'm not sure if he's throwing Samura or Faruya onto the team just yet, but we'll have to see. I've been loving Big Sid's energy. But when the poor guy asks, what does the plus five power upgrade do? I realize he might be in for rude awakening. That reminds me, I need to send him some of these guides. On to the eighth team. Penguin Pouch, AKA Agent. One of the best players I've ever played against in Power Pros. If he has some icon skills, then we all may be toast. Now, he also designed his team from one of his favorite anime growing up. Here's what he had to say. Samiya High, once a prestigious school in the world of baseball a few decades ago, has fallen into disrepair. The baseball club, barely staying afloat with enough members, is one of the worst teams in the prefecture. Their laid-back attitude with little ambition to make it to the Koshian has infected its way onto the field. Blowout losses are commonplace, and the sentiment is just, meh, it's a hobby. I never expected to make it that far anyways. However, one year student named Tanaguchi joins the club, a transfer from Aohashi, one of the top baseball high schools in the country. He shows up to practice and puts the Aohashi uniform and catches the attention of everyone. Samiya players are in awe. Why would an Aohashi player ever play with us? Little do the Samiya players know, he was a fourth stringer who got cut from the team and has little to no baseball experience past junior high. However, after miraculously hitting a home run in tryouts, he makes the starting roster immediately. Despite his pleas of being four stringer and not being a good player, his Samiya teammates brush it off as him being humble. Taniguchi, who has little to no skill in baseball, continues to luck his way into many miraculous plays on accident through their final game at the prefectural tournament. After the third year say their farewells, he is crowned captain of the Samiya Baseball Club for the upcoming season. His pleas of being unfit are falling off deaf ears. Now, I'm choosing Penguin to go a long way for this tourney. Speaking of a long way in this tourney, I have to transition to the man himself, community manager for the Power Pros World Discord. And I'm not sure if you saw him on the big stage in front of 1.9 million people at the time of this video who watched the competition, but DishNest34 was the English play-by-play -play broadcaster. We're also proud of him and happy. Dish had an incredible Icon 9 team called the Matsumi Girls Academy. There was one little girl who stole all the hearts of the show and he decided to write a light novel about it. So here we go. Emmy Kanigi Jr. is known as one of the most infamous players in Dishnet's Icon 9 history, almost meme worthy in the universe. However, she is out to prove her success as a subsequent drafting, which a lot of people would say was rigged, much to Kanigi Jr.'s annoyment, wasn't a fluke. However, Kanigi Jr., she wanted to go big and have a lot of antics to go along with that. So she called up a friend of 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 a friend who is actually just one of her regular friends, but she insisted we call them that. Who is developing cloning machines in the basement of a ramen shop in Tokyo? Don't ask about any of the details, Kanigi Jr. said. We would get Kuro on your behind, which really perturbed one of the people in the Ruth whacked by Kanigi Jr. After hiring another friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, again, who turned out to be just one of her close friends anyways, to lightly forge some documents to set up a high school in the Kanagawa prefecture. Kanagi Jr. said that she chose because she liked the name and she may or may not have a shoplifting record in Tokyo. In an old office building, Kanagi Jr. stepped into the cloning machine and out popped her, a lot of them. 
just enough to forge more documents to get the classified in a different graze and classified as recruits for their first year of operation. However, her friend of a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend with the cloning device said that each one's skill was randomized due to what they called technical difficulties. This earned them a thwack from Carnegie Jr. And so Carnegie Jr. and the other Carnegie's juniors set out to prove a point that memes can become dreams. Wow. Oops, all Carnegie's. Wow. For our 10th team, we've got a work in progress team by Education 10. He's entering with the Hashimoto Academy, uh, Wakayama Prefecture. Not much is known about this team. Let's hope he doesn't sneak attack and blow us all out of the water. Stay tuned for more on this reporting live here in the future. For our 11th team, we have the famed Eye Pump Plastic. He put down the PlayStation controller to pick up the Joy-Cons. I bet that will be a huge skill issue as he's going to suck. Psych, there's, there's no shot. Good luck to all of us in the league. One of the best Icon 9 skilled players, one of the best PvP competitive players. He's going to train his school called Cash Money High. Here's what Pump had to say about his school. Having already claimed the Discord World Koshian Championship, quote unquote, insert whatever it is actually called. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, that's a real laugh for me. I didn't read this ahead of time. I'm reacting live. I Pump celebrated his victory, but as the weeks went by, an emptiness grew. No team would ever be as great as that championship team. What was the point of continuing Doi's disciples now that the goal had been achieved? The school closed down. I Pump went into retirement, and he picked up bird watching as a hobby. Or insert whatever random ass hobby would be funny. <laughs> A few months went by and I Pump got a call from an unknown number. The serious caller was billionaire Wilson Fisk. He wanted I Pump to come out of retirement and manage his new baseball academy. I Pump refused as birds watching <laughs> was quite lucrative and interesting. He did not want to have to coach a bunch of untrained players. However, after Fisk offered an astronomical sum of money, I Pump immediately accepted his extremely proud to represent cash money high baby in addition to i pumps lucrative base salary he also receives cash bonuses every time cash money scores a run as i pump looked to motivate his team he decided to split the bonus among the players and after every run the dugout shout in unison cha-ching gotta love the shots fired what a story I don't, I don't know. I don't have anything to say after that. For our 12th team, we've got my friend Nick, one of my greatest collaborators on stories, scripts, movies, books, YouTube videos, draft classes, and more. He's bringing in the Bluefin Academy. He wrote a nice little provocation for it. Here's how it goes. Bluefin Academy has made a name for itself in Japan as one of the top talent developers throughout the country. Countless alumni have gone on to play professional ball, and Bluefin can even take credit for developing the man that would consider the greatest baseball player of all time, Tetsuo. Despite the individual success of their players, Bluefin has also developed a reputation of being the biggest disappointment in high school baseball year in and year out. With countless talented rosters wasted and no coaching in high school history, Bluefin Academy has become synonymous with choking under the brightest lights. Now with the legendary Tetsuo taking over the reins as head baseball coach and his daughter Tetsu joining the team, can the Bluefins make a run at their first Koshian title on the world's biggest stage? Or will the father-daughter-led team be just the latest to fizzle out into irrelevance as the competition heats up? You know, I hope Nick does really good in this. The Okinawa Prefecture is going to be tough, but good luck, Nick. Now, before we get to my team, the 14th team, saving the best for last, I have to bring up the team that is shrouded in complete mystery. Coach Zimikaku. He'll take the reins. A seasoned EPL competitor. Brilliant Icon 9 mind. When I asked him what his school and backstory was, he told me to use a new challenger approaches meme like bruh. We're dead. I guess we'll have to wait. He really must be trying to psych us out. We gotta be worried. Now for the grand finale. The best of the best. Team 14. The moment you've all been waiting for. My team. Now I've introduced you to this team before. And some of you are familiar with the story of the short king. Luis Martinez. He hits the stage here, about to bring Valley High to stardom, coming from a little town called Katsura Malibu in Chiba. Let me get the music track right real quick here. Hold on a second. Ah, lay back and listen to this. My name is Frisk, the new coach of a high school in a place you might not expect, tucked away in Katsura Malibu, nestled in the beating heart of the Chiba prefecture, lies Valley High. A region that's a doppelganger of the Pistorek Malibu we all love. But here, instead of the golden sand, we've got a baseball diamond. You see these vistas, these ceaseless surf. 
It casts a beautiful yet intimidating shadow, a place where the crashing symphony of the waves reigns supreme, and the crack of a baseball against a bat is just a faint whisper in the wind. Here we don't just have students, we have wave riders. Their days are not spent in throwing pitches or batting practice, but riding tubes and carving up the Pacific swells. Their passion, catching the ultimate wave, not fly balls. It's a monumental challenge, some would even say a curse, yet it's one I have accepted with pride. Because beneath the sun-kissed skin and the salt-streaked hair, I see potential. Potential not just to conquer the ocean, but also the diamond. The task before me, transforming this crew of surf fanatics into a baseball juggernaut. Formidable enough to clinch a victory in the prestigious Summer Koshien against Japan's finest competitors. And the twist? These kids, they just don't look good. They are good. They just don't know it yet. You see, beneath the exterior of wave catchers are champions waiting for their time under the sun, waiting to trade the rhythm of the sea for the cheers of the crowd. So there you have it, 14 teams, all jumping into the training arc to compete in pool play and then eventually the actual Power Pros World Koshien. Now, training arc starts now, and I'll see you guys here throughout the coming weeks documenting everybody's progress, and then we'll get into showing every single game when competition starts here in August. Good luck to all, and I hope you join us all along the way. Until the next one, we'll see ya. Peace.